Hey everybody, watch this review here with something pretty cool. This is the Nosferatu from the Silent Screamer series, which was put out by Aztec Toys, which ultimately, oh, their slogan, I love their slogans, sacrifice nothing. Um, possibly a little non-PC, but it's a cute expression. ...on to become Mezco Toys, which are kind of like Nika, except for I like them. Um... The design was developed by Art Asylum, not a big name, and the packaging is beautiful. Look at this. I'm not sure if they're stills from the figure, but they might be stills from the figure, not stills from the movie, but the quality is so good on the stills that you can't really tell. Just from the look at the upper ones here, I mean, the last one's obviously the figure, but now this is art. This is freaking art and package design comes with a whole bunch of rats. I almost bought the Knock Renfield, then I would have had a real use for the rats, but didn't. Great statue as a figure though, it's not going to be posable in the least. Also getting the Calgary. I really want the Cesar, the Sleepwalker. Uh, both were from the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, one of my uh, favorite old time films. But yeah, um, Hestec Toys was around for I know, they came around the late 90s, early 1000s, then they ended up folding up and then becoming Mezco Toys. I'm going to open this up and then we're going to have a look. Alright, so this is obviously the titular character of Nosferatu, the actual Nosferatu himself, Count Orlok, um, or Graf Orlok. I'm really sorry about my voice right now, just because I'm still have congestion, as mentioned in the other video from the allergies. Uh, people leave windows open and stuff. I think I might be allergic to ragweed or pollen or something, maybe. I don't know. I was one thinking of sickness, but I noticed that whenever I get seem to get sick, it seems to correspond almost exactly with when windows and stuff were left open. But <clears throat> as you can see from his base which you can actually put the extra rats on, and it would interlock with the knock um, Renfield one. But he has two different positions where he can stand, which is a cool touch. And it's a really nice looking base, although the rats have a glossy paint, which isn't realistic. They should have gone for a non-glossy. And the wall, of course, should have been less glossy look, but um, awesomely sinister figure. Now the package mentions some special features for him, but <clears throat> I didn't really read through the package, so it's also in pretty good condition. Um, only points for articulation are upper body. The wish the legs can spin. Sorry, scratch that because it needs to pose. See, but the head can move a little bit. <clears throat> The um, one point at each elbow and the points at the shoulder. <clears throat> but yeah, for people not familiar with, I'm not going to try posing on the base right now. Nosferatu is basically an unauthorized Dracula adaptation, but they had to change the vampire's name and so forth. But it's basically a Dracula story of a vampire who decides to come to America and menaces people. <clears throat> It's a uh, silent feature, of course. That says featuring skin burns when exposed to sun, plagued rat base with extra rats, diorama connects, and film collector's card. Oh, the film collector's card must be the thing at the bottom, which is an explanation of the other stuff. Um, I don't know what the problem with the sunlight is, though. <clears throat> I doubt they can actually do anything with it have a special feature for the sunlight. This is an explanation of how the bases attach. Of course the Caligari and the Cesar would attach as well. Um, I had to cut along the entire back of the package just to maintain the original packaging as much as possible because the packaging does look awesome, but yeah. Awesome, awesome character. Uh, the movie, of course, was atta was um, Bram Stoker's widow, who still had property rights on it, or intellectual rights at that point, had the um, 
copies destroyed, but I guess a few floated around and were eventually found and recovered, and we have it today. I believe there's no sort of franchise fees or anything that they had to pay out on these guys, because this should be all public domain by now, which is why you can find the movie pretty easily, seeing nobody has rights to it as being it. I think the intellectual rights in the U.S. are 75 years. Or, um... Be um sort of a ball joint in the shoulders, just a standard joint here. Oh, sorry, these do move at the uh, but yeah, really, really wicked looking figure. Look at that, it's evil commanding nature. One of the most iconic scenes in the movies where you see his shadow ascending the staircase, then he enters the room, and then um, here where somebody pulls down the drapes and sunlight pours in. He shields his face, but he just turns into like, just slowly vanishes. Kind of a cheesy effect by modern standards, but the really kick-ass thing was just him going up the staircase. Um, very nice cinematography in this one. Nowhere near as nice the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, which I highly advise you watching. Just because it's just a really kick-ass film. Also Metropolis, the original Metropolis, not to be confused with the city where Superman lives, or the anime of the same name, which has nothing to do with it, but the original, which was a, it was an allegory for the whole Russian Revolution, but I can't remember what the, yeah, those are just three old school films that you just totally have to see, but, um, I think I've conveyed all you can convey with a figure that only has maybe eight points or nine points for articulation, so, <laughs> until next time.